Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering PySpark interview questions that is asked in a global logic interview recently. If you look into your data set, we have a data frame with the name Virat Kohli, PV Sindhu. So we need to convert every first letter of a word in a capital letter. So here we have small letters, we need to convert into capital letters. Similarly for PV Sindhu, P is small, V is small, S is small, we need to convert into capital letter. So that is the first question. And the next question, we need to get a rows from data frame 1 that are not present in data frame 2. So if we look into data frame 1, we have ID 1, 2, 3. But in data frame 2, we have ID 1, 3 only. So which means ID 2 is present in data frame 1, but that is not present in data frame 2. That kind of records we need to get in the output. So we will see both the questions, how we can solve by using a PySpark. We are on the Databricks platform. We will start discussing a first question. So we have a data frame with the name Virat Kohli, PV Sindhu. We need to convert the first letter of a word into capital. This can be done by using a multiple ways. One of the ways we can split the word and we can capitalize the each and every first letter. Or also we can use a init cap function. By using a init cap function, we can convert a first letter into capital. So let's see how we can write a PySpark code for this. So I'm having a data frame. Maybe I'm using a with column function to update the column values. So we have a name column here. So we can update this column values into capital. So I'll be taking the same column, a name. And we have function called init cap. By using this function, we can capitalize the first letter of a word. So this function will automatically do that. Okay, so this is a simple function we can use. Uh, to use this function, we need to import it. So by using a PySpark. By using a PySpark SQL functions, we can do that. So we can import only init cap. Okay, so this is the way we can do. So we can simply display it and execute it. Now you can see the first letter of each and every word is converted into capital. Simply by using this way we can do. The other way is we can also use a split, capitalize. By using a split and capitalize functions also we can achieve it. Okay. Next, if you talk about a next question, the so next question we have two data frames. So we have data frame one, data frame two. So if I display both here, we can see the data first. Okay, so these are the two data frames we are having. So this is the data frame one result. We have ID one, two, three. And data frame two result, we have ID one and three. So we need to get only records that are available in data frame one, but not present in data frame two. So this also can be achievable uh, very easily by using a function called subtract or also we can use join as well. So let's talk about a subtract first. So let us say we have data from one. So we can subtract data from one from data from two. Very simple. So we can display it and we can see the output. Now see, we are getting only record ID2. So ID2 is present in data frame 1, which is not present in data frame 2. So the other way by using this is we can also use join. So maybe we can use a join as well here. So we can use a, a left hand join to achieve this. So let's take this data frame 1 data, join with a data frame 2. So we have our two columns, ID and name. So based on ID and name, maybe we can join it. So I'll give you here ID. And we can bring a left hand design. So, this way we can do, we can display this.
okay so this is the first line output and this is the second line output so here also we are getting a ls so by using a left antigen also we can get this output basically left antigen brings only rows from left table that don't have any matching rows from the right side table so that is how we are getting only rows from a left table that is a two ls so in this way we can achieve this both the scenarios in case if you have any other alternative approaches please post in the comment box and please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet